back, which is used for the park run has solar lighting. This part here doesn't. Maybe a future project for the council they can secure some more government funding or something. the two bridges walk or two bridges run because the uh, Crook Crookwell Road bridge is the first of the two main bridges that will either pass under or over and we'll get to the second one closer to the end of this run on this here there are several several pedestrian bridges as well so I'm 68 years old and I started running about three years ago but I was always reasonably active or so I thought and I used to walk on and I did a bit of running on the spot using a Wii Fit uh, program but I'd never actually done any running and then about three years ago I signed up for a park run that John mentioned earlier when I first started doing it I just used to walk Pretty briskly but just used to walk and then one week I decided I'd see and I thought I could run so I ran what I thought was about a kilometre and then I had to stop and get my breath back and so on and then run some more so I walked and ran walked and ran walked and ran got to the end of the course after that I decided morning I would set a goal of trying to run the full 5k so I did that is I set the goal and I set about achieving it sometimes in the early days I did sometimes I kind of have to walk a bit after a while legs get sore but I just found myself struggling for breath but eventually I was able to run the full 5k I can't remember what time I recorded the first time and I know it would have been well over the 30 minutes so having established that I could run the full 5k I then decided the next realistic goal would be to try and run a full 5k in under 30 minutes so I worked at that I did a bit of training through the week on a track I set out for myself in Victoria Park and after a while I achieved that goal of running a full 5k in under 30 minutes so, now that I've established I had some ability to do this thing, I decided that I could add two more goals to my efforts. One would be that I would try and finish each event in the top half of the field, just because it's in 
looks like a reasonable goal. Just interrupting for a moment. I'm behind the Belmore Estate and heading towards another estate called the Tilly. Just see on my right there. Some outdoor fitness equipment. And hopefully on my right. The inclusive play space as it's called. Goldman's newest playground. Hoping to get made this year. Lots of good equipment for kids. And it's good to see now this play equipment an outdoor gym. A bit further on we'll see the dog park. The only thing in my opinion that's missing here is a toilet block. Anyway, getting back to the running story. So I thought it's a reasonable thing to try and finish in the top half of the field. And I picked out a particular marker on the track and said But I wanted to be at that marker before the first runner asked me on the return leg. And again, sometimes I achieved both of those things and sometimes not. After a while, I gave up running a circuit in the park because I wanted to be able to run distances and so I tried to map out for myself of course it was about five k's because to me you know, running is about running a distance and you want to challenge yourself to either run the same distance after the next time you do it or run a longer distance or both so I set about marking out courses and tracks I didn't like this one it would give me a long run and therefore build up my stamina so that when it came to the Saturday park run, I had more k's in my legs if you want to put it that way. And a 5k run, it wouldn't be as difficult. I'm not saying it would be easy, it's still always a challenge, but it wouldn't be quite as difficult. Uh, last year, 2020, and we'll went completely crazy I was in Tasmania at the time and uh, park run was cancelled and I decided that I wanted to keep running so under restrictions were in place there at the time I was allowed to go outside to run or to exercise so I started running the equivalent of the park run that is 5k on the track I marked out for myself I did that a few times started a little bits to it and then one day I decided to go to where the local park run course was which I'd run a few times and See if I can run that distance and then some more. So that course is two laps of a 2.5k circuit. So I did those and then thought well I feel okay. Breathing's alright, legs are okay, whatever. I ran another 2.5k. And I felt pretty good about that, physically, and also mentally a bit sharp about around the 7.5k. But I guess the most runners know once you've done something like that, you want to do a bit more, 
a bit arsenal base. So next time I went to that course, which is a couple of days later, I said, okay, I'm going to see if I can run another 2.5k, which if you're doing the maths will give me the full 10k. So I did that. A little bit sore afterwards, but certainly well tested. But I finished it in a bit over an hour. Which is not the great time I realised, but I thought, well, not too bad for a 67 year old as it was then. If you've never done any running before, I was now running 10k. That was in April uh, 2020. So over last year I was in Tasmania I started running longer and longer tracks 12k, 15k, 17k and a 19k and I looked at that and cursed myself for not getting the full 20k in so a little while later I ran that same course, added on an extra loop, and ran my first half marathon. Uh, nobody there to see me do it. I did record it on my various devices, uh, and I came in at 2 hours and 10. Again, I thought it was pretty good. I don't have anything to compare it with. So later on again, I ran the same course and got about two hours and nine minutes, which again I thought was pretty good. So I just stand at the moment my best time for a park run is two hours, sorry, 25.13. My best time for a 10k is 56 something 5609 I think and my best for the half marathon is 2 hours and 9 and officially my longest run is 22.1 k's got back to Goulburn in late 2020 and picked up my running the first few times I got here I tried even in front of 5k I had a bit of a challenge dropped my legs on a couple of runs I guess the courses are a bit steep or something not quite sure what the problem was but I soon got back into the rhythm of it I should say, when I was in Lonnie, as the locals call it, what do they say, non system, not lawn system. Locals get very stroppy if you call it lawn system. Uh, while I was there, I like to run in the mornings, I feel like now, especially in the summertime, and don't like saving time. You do it all, you know, hot and sweaty and whatever. Get home, shower, have your breakfast and so on. You got your bathe, do things in the winter time. I like to do it in the morning if I can. And for most time I was in long system, I did that. Some mornings just too cold, thick bog and rain and stuff. And most of the time I did that. Goldwyn, for those who don't know, is notorious for a bitterly cold winter. Having said all that, and whilst it's not balmy at the moment, I think I'll be running for five or six k's. It'll be five and a half k's. I'm pretty warm. Got a light jacket on which I probably could take off, but I've got the camera over there. That's how it's all a bit fiddly. So, back to the long, long story. I joined a, a running club. I used to run on the Sunday morning a bunch of people like myself who like to run had decided to uh, 
Cliff to get around the one guy who was the coach who set out the traps for us. We could all meet at a certain place and the distance. What war stories afterwards and the runs we'd done and where we'd done them and so on. And we'd up again the following day. So the rest of the group had us had a training day on a, in the middle of the week. But I didn't go to that. So I picked up the running again eventually got back into my stride here and started running this track I'm doing now and a few others actually getting distances under my belt in my legs and uh, trying to run longer and longer distances uh, uh, park run I still can so due to COVID restrictions and so you're mostly just running by yourself as I have at the moment and those people who are runners when they do an advantage they'd be so damn used to that running by yourself you've got no one to talk to except yourself or with a camera you might be able to see over slightly to the left in front of me here is the dog park I talked about earlier and just back there behind us the water station so, so here this area is now yeah, pretty well equipped the kids with play equipment and adults and their dogs and so on anything as I said I think is missing is a toilet block and hopefully the council will rectify that at some point see all these houses the yellow fence or the creamy coloured fence in front of me the back of Green Gully Road and lots and lots of housing around here kids need places to play outside their own backyard and meet other kids and that sort of stuff and you know, if we want, we're serious about wanting our children to be more active and healthier we have to provide places for them.